All right, quick review for you. This is the Flex Tail Gear Zero Air Mattress. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this, keep watching. All right, I want to thank Flex Tail Gear for sending out the Zero Air Mattress so that I could share it with you. So I did use this for two weeks camping in Kujapaquack National Park. Now, in full disclosure, I didn't use this by itself. I'll explain what I mean in a few moments' time. So what I'll do is I'll very quickly go over the specifications for this air mattress, then I'll inflate it and show you what it looks like. Like. All right, not a lot to see here, really. This is the mattress in its deflated size. I'll give you the specifications in the video description below because, uh, okay, well, you can see it's small. Small and relatively lightweight, coming in at 1.29 pounds or, or 585 grams. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Now, there, here's one of the things. The reason it can be this small when it's deflated is because I don't think there's any insulation in it. I could find no information on the Flextail website that gives it an R value rating at all. So, for that reason, I can only recommend this for summertime camping. I wouldn't even say shoulder season. I think just strictly summertime camping. I will tell you, though, that it, when it is fully inflated, the size is 74 inches long by 23 inches wide by 2 inches thick. And I'll give you the metric in the video description below. So inside of the nylon stuff sack, and I said, not a whole lot to see, is the air mattress. And, and I strapped to kind of hold it in place. So you can see it does compact down quite small. And I think that's probably the greatest value of this. It does seem to be well made. It is made of ripstop nylon. It does seem to be uh, very durable. And what you'll see when I inflate it is it's the type of uh, design that I think is of the most comfortable. Now, let's do exactly that. Let's inflate it. All right, I've unfolded the mat on the floor here in my workroom, and it does have the type of valve. I call it a two-piece valve. You pull the top flap open for inflation. It's a one-way valve. Air goes in, doesn't come out, but it has a second flap you open up for rapid deflation. So to inflate this, I will be using the Flextail Tiny Pump 2 that I previously reviewed on this channel. Very effective little pump. I have one of the adapters on that will hold on quite nicely, and all I have to do is double tap. You know it's full because you'll hear the, the pump change tone like it's working extra hard and uh, that's full inflation. Now, it is at full inflation right now and you may or may not uh, choose to have it fully inflated. I did as I camped with it. I'll talk more about my experiences with it in a moment. But what I wanted to show you here is the design. So this is the design where it is a sequence or a series, if you will, of individual pillows all the way down there. There are squares or stars, I guess, as well as round. And uh, the reason I like this best rather than, uh, you know, what do they call it? Like individual sections running either crosswise or lengthwise is this better supports the different parts of my body. Your body's not uniform all the way around. Now, if you're laying on your back, maybe you won't notice a difference, but I'm a side sleeper. So sleeping on my sides, that I appreciated the fact that it would conform better to my shoulders and my hips and knees at, down the length of this, and that's due to this design. Not everything is great about it, and I'll explain what I mean by that now. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments on the Zero mattress from Flextail. So this has been my experience. I did take this camping with me for two weeks car camping in Kushbaquack National Park. I actually took it as a backup to another air mattress that I was testing at the time, which failed on me totally. So I ended up using this for two weeks. Now, I know a minute ago I said, no, all is great with this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the design of this. In fact, this is a well-designed air mattress. The only thing was, and it's not that it's a deal breaker, it was just more about personal preference. Wasn't thick enough. Not thick enough by two inches. Now, yes, that's an aging body with for somebody who has bad shoulders and bad hips and back and that type of thing. I appreciate all the cushion and comfort that I can get. So what I ended up doing is I had some older self-inflating 
Philippine Air mattresses, the old Thermarest style, and I combined the two of them together and it was just fine. In fact, I really liked it like that because it gave me the extra loft and comfort that I needed for sleeping on and it increased the warmth a, a little bit. Now, I didn't mind the uh, lack of insulation in this while I was camping because it was summertime. But even in the summer, if the ground is cold, if you don't have something underneath you, you can still get cold as well as be uncomfortable during the night. So having that uh, Thermarest style mattress, the self-inflating time, gave me the extra layer of insulation. Now, there's other ways of doing that, of course, with reflective material and the like. So I just point that out for someone who's looking for an ultralight mattress that will give them comfort and warmth, this is not necessarily the one to have. For its size and weight, it is exceptionally comfortable but for me, I need it just a little bit more. So I just put that out there. A lot of people won't mind that. Again, if you're an older hiker like I am or an older camper like I am, you may appreciate using this in combination with something else like I did or search for another one altogether. Okay, that's all I have for you. This is a good value air mattress for sure. And I'll be sure to put in the information I have for it, both its specifications as well as its links to where you can purchase it, plus a 15% discount link as well. If you're interested, it'll all be in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.